Hello, hello friends, and welcome to another video. If you can't tell, I'm not at my apartment in San Diego. Um, I am home in Chicago. It is Thursday. I don't even know what the date is, but I'm just here visiting my family for the weekend, or I guess end of week slash weekend. So I just thought that as per usual, I would vlog this trip. Um, today, I don't have a ton of exciting going on. I have two doctor's appointments. So one is with my endocrinologist, which is a diabetes doctor, and then I'm meeting with um, a skin doctor, or that dermatologist. <laughs> but I did just want to vlog. I like vlogging when I'm home, kind of showing you guys where I'm from. Um, but yeah, it's nothing crazy this trip. Uh, my brother is home from college, which is a big reason that I came home. He goes to West Point, so they don't get much of a break. It's like a military school. So he's home for a few weeks um, because school ended before he has to go back for training for hockey and everything. So I wanted to spend time with him, see my parents, see my cousins, because they're all home. And it's so crazy. Everyone's growing up, so like people are going to their internships. or like my cousin just start, is starting her job. So I just wanted to like be home too see everyone. I did film what I brought food wise but yesterday when I was in San Diego but I almost missed my flight and then my flight was delayed and then I got home and I was like I just don't feel like vlogging so I'm gonna insert that footage now just so you guys kind of know how I came. So I have a meal for the plane and then I'm just bringing home some chicken thigh and sweet potato that I had prepped honestly because if I wait to eat it till I come back. It'll go bad, but it's good just to have stuff like that on hand at home. Um, this I'm just using as an ice pack. And here I just have a bunch of my supplements. So this is Ignition. I have some Formula One Cinnamon Toast Crunch, and then my Micro Factor, and um, this is Level One Ice Cream Sandwich, just so I have my post-workout and then some protein on hand. And then I'm bringing just a couple of these perfect bars, which are really high fat, but it's hard for me to get my fat in right now, so they'll be perfect little snacks. I am just gonna bring these in my backpack. Um, I'm also just bringing my whole tub of greens home because I want my family to try them. Um, and what else? Oh, the rest of my pills, these aren't like prescription pills, I just use old prescription pill bottles. So I have like my hair, skin, and nails, and digestive enzymes and probiotics, just some like extra ones, because my digestion always gets messed up when I travel, so that is what I have in here, um, and I'll probably just put these in my checked bag too. But that's all I'm bringing. I'm going home, so we have a lot of food there. But, oh, just kidding. I am bringing these. Um, I just, honestly, they were still in my bag, my meal prep bag from another trip. But it's a really good option to have in an airport for quick carbs. Just, like, ask for hot water, you know? Um, I'm going to be tracking, but, like, loosely tracking. And, because my mom makes stuff and makes dinner, and I don't want to be that person who's, like, no, gotta weigh everything out. Obviously, it'll be different because I'm prep. Um, but I always just bring some like staple stuff. So right now, I'm going to make my normal breakfast. I'll show you guys, um, and then we'll hit the road for doctor's appointments all day. Okay, so just the normal. I have oats, egg whites, whole egg, peanut butter, and strawberries. Okay, dudes. We're back in the car. It's actually almost 3 o'clock right now. I'm outside my next doctor's appointment, which is just like a dermatologist appointment. I don't have like bad skin or anything, but I have, and you guys have pointed it out before, um, I have like weird discoloration on my shoulders, and I want to get it checked out. Um, so that is why... I am here, but that doctor's appointment literally was three hours, um, and I'm so excited to share everything I learned with you guys. So I just hired this guy, and he's a concierge doctor, which means you don't just see him when you go meet with them, um, which is why it's cool that he's in Chicago, but kind of like I do with my clients, like we text and email 
and check in um, and whatnot. And he's diabetic um, and he's an endocrinologist. So he's like a PhD. But his big thing is fitting, taking care of your diabetes into your life, which is how I kind of talk about fitness with my clients, right? And there's so many intricacies to handling diabetes and it's so hard with training. And as much as I try to stay on top of it, it's been really hard for me to keep my numbers stable recently, just especially with getting food up because again, there's so many intricacies in terms of like timing with insulin and the types of insulin and with my training. And there's so many intricacies with trying to handle like even just like fast digesting carbs pre and post workout and whatever um and a lot of you guys know last year when i started like really taking care of my diabetes which i hadn't been i gained a ton of weight really quickly um because my body was utilizing all the nutrients that i was giving it and i feel like right now something that could be going on is my body isn't utilizing all the nutrients that i'm giving it um and in talking to him we think that that is a big thing that it could be so we're starting on a couple different medications new types of insulin and all that kind of stuff and i'm gonna be in like 24 7 contact with him and this is something I say to a lot of people, like, it's a lot of money to hire this doctor who doesn't take insurance um, because he is a concierge doctor. For me, like, my health and my nutrition are always going to come before, like, buying new leggings or a new car or, like, whatever. So, I'm going to go to this doctor now. So, the second doctor's appointment I went to was super, super quick. I walked in and I went to see her because I have these, like, weird spots on my shoulder. And she knew exactly what it was. So, it's Tinea Versicolor, which apparently just means that... She compared me to Orange Crush with ants. She said I was very tasty. So I just have to like take some pill and then um, use this like body wash. So not a big deal, but um, it's 4.45 and I haven't eaten since breakfast and I am a different level of hungry. So um, first thing I did is made food and I literally just threw stuff in the microwave. So um, I have four ounces of chicken thigh that I showed you guys I brought from San Diego um, and then 200 grams of sweet potato and then um, we had some jasmine rice from dinner that we made last night so I have some of that in there and then some Brussels sprouts that my mom air fried I think last night and then that white stuff is um, eight grams of coconut oil to get fat in. So that's what I'm gonna eat right now. Um, and then I have a couple client calls and I have so much work to do because I literally haven't touched my laptop since this morning, which gives me anxiety. So we're gonna do that and then we're gonna go to the gym. And next time I see you guys will probably be before I go to the gym because I'm gonna eat something again, for sure. Okay, so we're having another quick snack. I just worked for a bit and now we are heading to the gym. Mother is heading off on her walk. Say hi. <laughs> right there? Yeah, you're right there. You're right there. Um, I like to be right there. Cool. Looking beautiful as ever. Um, but I just have caramel rice cakes, peanut butter. These have cream cheese and egg whites. Um, and then I'm going to also bring um this is formula one and ignition so quick digesting carb and protein i'm just gonna put that in a shaker for my post-workout legs and i have to get it done quickly so i can join the family festivities tonight but um, i'm literally still hungry after that meal never go that long without eating that was torture um but good morning friends it is the next day, it is Friday. It's like nine o'clock in the morning right now. Um, I honestly totally forgot to bring my camera to the gym last night and then I got home and I was like, I just wanna hang with the fam. So, it's a new day. I honestly just have um, check-ins most of the day today and then everyone will hang out tonight but like my parents are working and stuff too. So, um, my mom left this out for me to take this morning um it's an ancestry dna test and i guess she took it but she wants me to take it so that's what i'm gonna do i think i just have to spit in this tube thing but let's see so, i guess tells you like what percent of what nationality 
the your and my mom said her results came back different than she thought she was like i was lied to my whole life oh okay well that just came off so it's a lot of spit you just spit up to that line okay i'm not gonna film this now that we have my spit in there as gross as that is you just screw this cap on and i think it when it's all the way on, it like releases whatever that blue fluid was in there. And then we shake it for five seconds. I think that was five seconds. And put it in there. You just activate this online. Um, but yeah, my mom's very excited about this, so we'll see. We'll see what the results say. Okay, so I just came to Starbucks because it was really, really loud at my house. Um, I was answering check ins, and we have like lawn people like working on, I don't know, like uh, the landscaping at our house. So it was like so loud and there was guys like coming in and out of our house and stuff and I was like, I cannot do this. So I just came to Starbucks but I haven't like answered check-ins in here in so long um, and I kind of missed it. So I'm just here working on check-ins. I'm going to go meet my cousin at another Starbucks um, in a little bit, but this one's always just like really quiet. Like I'm like one of the only people here, so I always come when I'm home to work here. And I have a coffee. I just got a venti decaf Americano. Honestly, like I just don't need coffee. I just didn't want to be rude and not buy anything. Um, but then I did the same thing I usually do with coffee, light ice. Um, two pumps of sugar-free vanilla, two pumps of sugar-free cinnamon dolce, and then I added half and half. So that's that. Yeah, it's like my update. I didn't realize how much of a mess I am. I literally look like a hobo, but um, it's kind of cold outside. And right now I am going to a different Starbucks, but first I'm making a pit stop to get lunch because my cousin is doing a juice cleanse, which takes every ounce of my being to not be like, why are you doing this? But to each their own, you know? Um, so I'm just getting food before I go see her, so it's, I'm not like rudely eating. I was like, do you wanna go get food? And she's like, no, I'm doing a juice cleanse. And I was like, damn it. So we're getting food, then we're gonna go finish check-ins at another Starbucks until she comes and meets me there. And we're just gonna like grab coffee. So that's what we're doing. So this place is like my favorite lunch place at home. And it's like a make your own salad place. Um, so how I track these is just like, I've talked about whole foods before, but you can just track each ingredient individually. So like lettuce, the dressing, I got garbanzo beans, sun-dried tomatoes, chicken, quinoa, goat cheese, dressing, whatever. A bunch of stuff in there. So it'll be a pretty like fat heavy, meal which is exactly what I need um, so this is what I got super easy to track on the go again I'm just being pretty like loose when I'm at home but I am hitting macros close-ishly um, so I have this and I got a bit of water because I need it so um, I'm just gonna keep answering check-ins until my cousin gets here and yeah, that's kind of the Lex update. So it's just about to leave Starbucks. I was on the phone and look who walked in. Hey. Hi YouTube fam, how are you? <laughs> Paige and I went to, like we had mutual friends in high school. We didn't go to the same high school. And then we worked together for a little bit and now we're just homies. She's she just got back from study, like studying abroad, right? You're working yeah, 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 for my master's degree. Yeah, so it's pretty badass, but we're just catching up. And I saw that she was at Starbucks, and I was walking uptown anyway, so I was like, I'm gonna see if she's at 
this Starbucks. And I was. Here she is. <laughs> but yeah, it's always fun. I like literally never see anyone I know. Like you guys have seen this vlog. It's just me doing my normal shit. And like something exciting. Hey, I am not sure what has happened since I talked to you. Oh, I went home, finished working, ate again before I came to the gym. Had some pre-workout. I actually mixed it in water. I had the strawberry pineapple from first form. It was delicious. But now I'm at the gym. Wasn't sure if I was going to have time to lift today. But I realized I don't have time to lift tomorrow. So I'm going to get it in. Um, I have my surgery on Tuesday. So I literally have this lift. Sunday. Hopefully. And Monday. And then I'm out for a while so i just really want to get to the gym when i can we're gonna have a nice family night um and then tomorrow's a really fun day so that's that see you guys inside the gym look who i found do you guys remember jake i'm pretty sure you were you filmed a vlog for me like two years ago i think so and i've grown ever since i'm bigger yeah look at those uh feathers in the uh the deltoid region Getting lean, man. Right? A little bit. Let me know and I'll take you there. Get you going like, oh, baby, 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 baby,
But right now I'm going to go in and I was having such a hard time deciding what I was going to train. I'm going to go crush some upper body because that is the last thing that I'm kind of cleared to do. I'll be able to do some like light legs and stuff before upper body. So I'm going to go crush some back and shoulders. And yeah, that's kind of that. But super random vlog. I know I didn't show like that much of being at home. But it's one of those where when I'm with my family, as much as I want to share it, I also really want to be present. And it's hard to do both. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, comment, share, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I will see you guys in the next one.